Ebi Bright aspires to lead her community in Ghana's parliament. Ghana holds parliamentary elections in December, and this is her third time standing as the candidate of the largest opposition party, the National Democratic Congress. She says the journey has not been easy. We understand that there's a general boys club, if you know what I mean. I mean, they're sitting and cutting deals. And uh, probably because you're a woman and you probably won't be out at 2 a.m. cutting deals with guys, uh, they assume that you can't engage the same level of business or understanding about how to, to run the affairs of a community. So it immediately excludes you from certain conversations and access to certain places. Out of Ghana's 275 members of parliament, only 40 are women. The low representation of women in leadership roles cuts across political, social and economic sectors in Ghana. Female parliamentary candidates in Ghana come up against resistance from society in their political ambitions, unlike their male counterparts. It means that many feel they have to work twice as hard to convince people to vote for them. Ghana has passed the Affirmative Action Bill into law after nearly 30 years since it was first drafted to try to achieve gender parity in decision making. It seeks to promote the gradual participation of women in leadership roles in public and private sectors from a minimum of 30% to 50% by 2030. The law has a certain structures which need to be put in place. One of the first things is to set up a body called the Gender Equity um, Committee. And this body is supposed to be responsible for the implementation. So one of the key things they want to do to enable them to measure to see whether there's any progress, they would have to have a baseline study to see where the different sectors of government are, the, at the executive level, including ministries, etc., at the judiciary, the, the legislature, the private sector, where everybody is. So that after every year, if they measure, they will try to see whether there has been an increase in the numbers. Campaigners also want the government to commit to funding state institutions required to ensure the rapid implementation of the gender equity law. We need to take a concerted, critical look at how we're empowering women. women. Not just, oh, go into leadership, go into leadership, but making sure that we have the tools, you know, to go into leadership, that there's a mental, emotional, physical, and social balance to help us thrive in this position. It could take years for gender equality to be fully realized in Ghana. But with intense campaign and awareness, Ebi Bright hopes women will one day not have to struggle for leadership roles. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.